Ashto T30, mechanical analysis of extracted aggregate, covers a procedure for the determination of the particle size distribution of fine and coarse aggregates extracted from hot mix asphalt. T30 is essentially a combination of two Ashto aggregate tests, T11 method B, washing using a wetting agent, and T27 sieve analysis. For this test, you will need the following equipment meeting the criteria specified in section four of the standard. A balance, sieves, a mechanical sieve shaker, a drying oven, a suitable container and stirring utensil, and a wetting agent, usually dishwashing detergent. The test is performed on the entire extracted sample. Begin the wash loss test as soon as the sample has cooled to room temperature. If there has been a significant delay after removing the sample from the ignition oven, dry the sample to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Record the mass of the sample to the nearest tenth of a gram. Cover the sample with water and add a sufficient amount of wetting agent to separate the fine and coarse particles but not so much that excessive suds result. Stir the sample with a suitable utensil, then immediately pour the wash water over a nest of two sieves, a number 200 protected by a number 10 or number 16. Repeat the stirring and decanting steps until the wash water is clear. Use of a revolving drum washer is permitted providing it does not result in degradation of the coarse particles when using a mechanical washer, the introduction of water, agitating, and decanting may be a continuous operation. When stirring the sample no longer results in the suspension of fine particles, the water will remain clear. Return all material retained on the sieves to the container and dry to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Record the weight of the dried sample to the nearest 0.1% of the sample mass. To complete the procedure, sieve the dried sample over sieves of various sizes as required by the hot mix asphalt specification, including the number 200. Agitate the sieves by mechanical apparatus for a sufficient period to meet the criterion for adequacy of sieving. According to the applicable specification, record the weights retained on the sieves to the nearest 0.1% of the sample mass. Depending on the specification, sieve analysis calculations may include the total percentage of material passing each sieve, or the total percentage of material retained on each sieve, or the percentage of material retained between consecutive sieves. The mass of the material passing the number 200 sieve must be combined with the mass of the wash loss to obtain the total percentage of minus 200 material. Convert all recorded masses to a percentage of the original dry mass of the extracted aggregate. For example, if the mass of the extracted aggregate was 1,561 grams, and the mass retained between two consecutive sieves was 154 grams, the percent retained would be calculated as follows. 154 divided by 1561 equals 0 0.09865 times 100 equals 9.9%. A more common calculation would be the total percentage passing each sieve. So, if the accumulative weight retained on the number 8 sieve was 988 grams, the calculation would be 988 divided by 1561 equals 0 0.6329 times 100 equals 63.3% retained. Simply subtract the percent retained from 100 to obtain the percent passing the number 8 sieve. 100 minus 63.3 equals 36.7 percent. When calculating the percent passing the number 200 sieve, 
Remember to combine the mass of the pan material with the mass of the wash loss. If the mass from the wash loss was 63.4 grams and the mass of the pan material was 8.7 grams, the percent passing the number 200 sieve would be calculated as follows. 63.4 plus 8.7 equals 72.1 divided by 1561 equals 0 .0462 times 100 equals 4.6%. To ensure that a substantial amount of material was neither lost nor gained during the sieving process, the total of the masses after sieving must check within 0.2% of the dry mass of the extracted aggregate after washing. If the total mass after washing was 1,498 grams and the total accumulated mass after sieving was 1,496 grams, the calculation would be 1498 minus 1496 equals 2 grams difference. 2 divided by 1498 times 100 equals 0.013%. In this case, the masses check within the limit. Report percentages to the nearest whole number for material retained above the number 200 sieve. Report the percent passing the number 200 to the nearest tenth. For more details on the most recent specifications, consult the latest AASHTO publication, which may be ordered by calling 202-624-5800 or online at transportation.org.